Settings in SEO will let you optimize your pages for search engines. Keep in mind, this is separate than the search engine optimization for your entire site. However, it is just as important. It may be the additional optimization your site needs to climb search engine results. For this section, you will first need to optimize this box for each page in your site. This is not a general setting for all of your pages. You will want to treat each page like it's its own site. Go ahead and name your page. And remember, this name will reflect what is on your menus. Then add the page address you want here. This will be a part of the address you give out to your visitors so they can find a specific page in your site. For premium sites, the page address will show after your personal domain. For free sites, the address will be in the format username.wix.com slash site name slash page name. Next is your page's SEO section. SEO means search engine optimization, which will help with your site's ranking on search engine results. This is your page title and it's the first thing Google sees under your ranked pages. You will want to add your business or website's title here. Also your information regarding your business location and basic product information. The title should be up to 70 characters long and should include one or two of your main keywords. Next, add in your description. This should be one or two short sentences describing your website or business. Good descriptions are between 150 and 170 characters long and include one or two of your main keywords. Finally, the Keywords field allows you to enter up to 10 keywords separated by commas. Keywords are words or short phrases that describes your website's content and should include words that people would use to search for you. It is also recommended to add your geographic location to this section to pinpoint services in a specific physical region. Last, you can customize your page style by clicking Change Style. Now you can choose a page style from one of our preset styles. Just click one to preview the style on your page. Or to customize this even more, click Edit Style. And here you can change the skin of your page. Just choose the look you like. You can use the controllers here to look through all of our choices. Now depending on the skin you choose, you have different customizing options below. You can now change your page's background and border colors. Just click on the color swatch then choose your color. And to adjust this color even more, click the Adjust Color icon here. You can also customize the page's edges by making them more rounded or less. First, make sure you lock the corners together by checking this box here. Now use the arrows here to change your corner sizes. And if you only want to change one corner size at a time, uncheck the Lock Corners Together box and change each separately. And last, with the Skin option, you can change your border width and choose to show a shadow under your pages or not. When you are done, click OK. Now give it a try on your own.